Well, how y'all doing it? Nice Saturday evening. No news today, folks. Stayed away from it. Y'all been urging me to take a little break. Mama's been urging me to take a little break. Took it easy today. So I don't know what happened. Had a friend came over, our friend Deborah. She, good friend of ours, came over and we had a good visit and talked about a lot of things. So, tomorrow, when I wake up and Lord hoping I do, I reckon. Get to watch the Sunday talk shows. And that's always where I, I look forward to it because I really do enjoy it. Because I like to listen to the other side because that's how we move things forward in this country and this great big story of ours that we was talking about yesterday. How we got from where we are to where we are now, or where we were to where we are now. Told y'all took a day off. But we had a big war with England, won our independence. And in uh, 1789, they wrote a thing called the uh, Bill of Rights. The rights that we all have. You know the first one. I like to practice it. That's the freedom of speech. It gives me the right to sit here on my stool and say whatever the hell I want to say. And I have that right. Guns, well, we all know that number two. In Texas, I think it's a law we have to own guns down here. I don't know. I own my, I own a few. Third one's about the military. That fourth one, that's to protect you from unreasonable search and seizure. Unreasonable search. That's yeah, been already through the Supreme Court and everything. We know what this means. It means if there's a wiretap, you have to have a a warrant. You got to go to one of them FISA courts. You know, get a warrant. And then we'll see what you can do. We'll tap your phone and see what you're doing. See if you're a bad guy. But there's got to be a warrant to do it. And tomorrow, Comey's going to come out and let us know. What's up? What's old DT talking about? What is that worm up there in the White House tweeting out stuff? Accusing people of it. Accusing. Yeah. That Fifth Amendment talks about if you're going to accuse somebody, well, they got to have proof. They have to have proof or they ought to shut their mouth. No, Trump ain't going to come out and apologize. Hell no. No, he ain't going to. He's going to stick by his guns. Oh, I know the boogeyman's after me. That black man over there. He's no good and he's after me. That's his whole story. It's going to be a story about everything that he does in his whole presidency. You can guarantee everything that goes wrong, he's going to go, oh, Obama did that. No. We're watching you smear the crap all over the place yourself. So, that fifth, I mean the sixth one, that's your lawyer. That means you can have a lawyer if you're accused of something. Ain't Barack a constitutional lawyer? Yeah, what are you, Donald? Oh, yeah. Businessman. Know all about business. No, I don't think so. I think you just had a lot of money. You had enough money to buy lawyers. And those lawyers are smart. You tell them what to do, and they go do it, and then you sit around going, Oh, look how smart I am. No, I don't think so. I really don't. I don't think you have a brain to piss in out of pot. Really don't. You don't demonstrate it. Like we say, every time somebody takes a piece of paper or that teleprompter away, you're back to babbling about how great you are and your numbers and all oh, wiretaps and anything else you can pull out of your butt. Anyway, gave us our Bill of Rights. The right to do everything and protect us from stuff and all that stuff. And it's plugging along pretty good. Now here's where I don't need to look down at my board anymore. Because I was lucky enough when I was in grade school, because I was a tall, skinny fella, that I got to be picked for the school play, you know, where they get up in front of your parents and all that stuff. Well, guess who I got to play? Let me give you a hint, and I'm not reading this. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, 
conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Not bad for 64 years old and remembering without cue cards what that paragraph says. All men are created. Again, we've been through the Supreme Court and we done figured out by law that the word men there means men, women, transgender, gay, lesbian, whatever you want to label them, that's who gets those rights. That's who has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what that is. And I also don't have to look at anything to tell you that the second paragraph said, Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether this nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. Well, we're not in a civil war, and it, it, it's not going to come to that, because violence is not the way that we're going to handle this one. That one back there where Lincoln was talking, that was a great test of our nation. A great test of what did we stand for as Americans. And we stood the test. And we came through with flying colors. Flying colors. That other flag, it lost. Thank goodness, it lost. No, we don't have to bring violence and fight our brothers and our sisters. No. We need to bind together and come together as a people in the street and raise our voice and make our voices heard. Like I said, we did it through Nixon. People went in the street and demanded their lawmakers take action until action was taken. You know, I'm pretty good at remembering things that... Uh, paraphrasing what I, I remember of important things in my life. Jerry Garcia once said that the truth is what you find when you're on your way to somebody else or someplace else. Pretty profound. The truth is what you find on your way to somebody else, somewhere else. Now, Republicans need to think about that for a minute. Y'all were on your way to somewhere. You you thought Donald Trump was the man that was going to bring jobs back, save America, wave the flag, and hold the cross. That's not who he is. He's a scumbag. He's a liar. Every day he lies, and he perpetuates those lies continually. They're looking for see if he's going to apologize. No, he's not going to apologize. He could care less who he hurts, who he stomps on, who he brushes off the... The, the table from food or whatever. It doesn't matter to the man. Money. It's all about the money. And that's what he cares about. But we as a people need to care about all of us. All of us. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all of us. I don't find that a hard concept to grab. But we need to come together as a people. I've railed against Republicans, railed against them. But there are good people out there, and I know some of them. The lady I worked for, I told you before, Republican woman, best job, best, best woman I ever, best person I ever worked for. We flood here a lot. Every few years, flood comes, and I park my boat right there at the back step. That part ain't bad. Getting all this junk up, well, that's pretty hard. But I have a donkey and a goat. What happens? Well, when you get trapped, there are some people who come to your rescue that don't even know you. And that's what happened to me last time it flood. This couple came by I'd never met in my life. Friend of a friend of a friend, you know. They came in here with the big, tall, four-wheel drive and a trailer. Got the donkey and the goat out. They're good people. I didn't ask them to do that. They volunteered. They were great people. I don't think, I don't know if they voted for Trump. I don't know. I just know they're Republicans. Kind of that group I lost contact with there after the election. But there's good Republicans out there, and that's the ones we're trying to reach. I rant and yell and get mad, and I should, over the shit they do. The politicians, those politicians, those many blood-sucking parasites. 
but people out here, they're proud, and maybe they made a mistake. I made a mistake one time. I told you all that a long time ago in the first video I ever did. Voted for Nixon. Signed up and went in the military. Yay, Nixon. Yeah. That was my mistake. And that's what I fessed up to. That's what I had to look at myself in the mirror and go, yep, I made a mistake. I, wrote, I voted for the wrong guy. Secret plan to win in Vietnam. No, he didn't have that. And this guy doesn't either. And he ain't got no secret plan and he ain't got no magic plan in his back for the health care. We'll have lots of plans and plans and plans. He ain't got shit. He ain't got shit and he's just pulling stuff out of his ass. That's what he's doing. And I want you Republicans to realize that. And start standing. You don't have to stand out there with us. Just contact your congressman or your senator. Tell him this shit won't stand. Tell him to stop it. Anyway. Didn't mean to come out here and get all up on a rant. Just trying to remember what this country's about. And what we're about. And what we've faced before and what we can make it through again. But we'll make it through as one people. Dragging everybody with us. Even if they're kicking and screaming. To the blue dots out there, stay strong. I'm going to come back up here tomorrow because Sunday move, Sunday uh, news shows, I'm going to watch them. So, nothing's changed. Just took a day off. Not as mad as I am, but we'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's see how, fast, how mad I can get. Good night.